Hey friends, welcome back to Simply Home and Harvest. I'm Jen and today we are going to be putting together our green stalk garden tower. It's been sitting in my house for a few weeks now and today is a good day for us to get this project done. So I'm gonna bring you along. We're gonna kind of learn together. I did go ahead and get my soil and you'll see it's kind of piled up over here because we're probably going to put it together and have it positioned over here on the deck. And so I'm going to go ahead and get it in place and then we'll start filling it. I'll show you the kind of soil that I bought to put in it and I'll talk a little bit about what we are actually going to be putting in it. Um, but today, another fun fact is that we are actually right now in the middle of the solar eclipse that is happening in our area. Now our area is only going to be able to have like an 80% view of it and we don't have special glasses and we don't plan to look directly at it or really to even look in the direction of it. But we thought it'd be cool to have a project going on and be out here when it's taking place. Um, our chickens are also out and they are free ranging some today. So we're kind of curious to see how they will react. I'm sure there'll be a little bit of confusion if we get any sort of um, darkness that happens because they will probably think that it's time for them to get in their coop. And I'm curious to see if they'll start heading back on their own to their coop. So maybe I'll show you that process if we can capture it on video. But really the main thing we want to do is get this green stop put together. Well, this is about as dark as it got in our area during the eclipse. So the chickens didn't even know anything differently. But it was nice to be out and get to experience it. And the cloud coverage did give us a little glimpse at it. So I'll add a picture of Alex and I enjoying our time viewing the solar eclipse. To mix everything in this wheelbarrow, but first I wanted to show you what I was using. I went ahead and split this bag open. So I'm going to add this and then also this kind of potty mix, raised bed mix. I like this variety because it's got some compost in it and um, I thought that would be beneficial and then this one does as well. And those were the most affordable options at my garden center so that's what I wanted to go with. So we are going to get everything opened up, we're going to mix it really well in the wheelbarrow and then we'll start filling our tiers. Although today's video is not sponsored by Greenstock in any way, I did want to go ahead and give you an overview of what it will look like uh, when it comes to your home. I did order mine directly from the Greenstock company and they've been wonderful to work with. So you'll see on top was the watering trough that goes to the top and then that was the Lazy Susan. It does not come with the original Greenstock. You do have to add that onto your purchase for an additional charge. And then you'll see each one of the tiers were just nestled down. Um, in each other there and that's the rubber tubing that you can use to go or rather plastic tubing that you can use to go on the bottom of your green salt just to drain the water off. It also included some seeds that we can use and we will definitely use those seeds to grow in our green stalk and then a step-by-step -step guide with instructions on how to put it together and then ideas of what you can grow in your tears. Now we got the original green salt. They also have a leaf style which I think uh, the buckets are a little bit shallow more shallow than the original and so I just opted for the original because I knew that we would probably use every bit of that space. This is the pan that will connect to each tier and it has little holes and that's where the water is going to come through. Now I did some research just to see um, what worked for people what did not work I'm um, just to give an idea and um you know, wanted to make sure I put this thing to good use and a lot suggested to take a screwdriver and make your holes just a little bit bigger. They didn't think there was enough um, room and sometimes those holes get clogged up. So I did go ahead and take that advice and hopefully that will prevent any clog up that might could happen. I did decide to go ahead and just build it um, without putting anything in it just to get an idea of where I wanted to put it so that once we started to build it and add all the dirt I wouldn't have to move it to a new location. The green sock is very simple to put together. I did decide that it would be easier just to go ahead and build the tiers and then fill them with dirt. Now the opening right there that I'm having to move the dirt out from 
After I did the first tier, I realized that it would be a lot easier if I could keep that hole covered and dirt not get down in it. So I took some masking tape and just covered the hole. And then that way I could just pour that dirt all over the top of it. And once we were finished, remove the masking tape before adding the watering pan. So I'm just going to let you watch the process of putting this together. We'll speed it up a little bit and we'll come back and talk a little bit more about the green stock. together completely with all five tiers and really it's not as tall as I thought it would be of course I am almost six feet tall and I can see over into the top of it so I guess it's probably about um, five feet tall maybe um, but I did get it a little dirty. That's okay. We're going to make it a lot worse once we plant. I just figured that halfway through, I thought, you know, instead of planting everything and then lifting it and putting it into place, it might be easier just to go ahead and build the tower and fill it as we go because we're probably going to have to put more soil in some of these pockets, as you can see, where it has settled a little bit. But I don't want to do that until I get all of our seedlings and seeds planted. So we will do that tomorrow and the remainder of this week but for now this is a good place to stop for the evening well it's day two of our green stalk project and we are racing against the weather as you can see it's getting dark back here calling for rain later today and then continuously for the next two days so really wanted to go ahead and get at least a couple of things in our green stalk and I have some strawberry plants that I'm wanting to put in there. I think I'm gonna put them on the bottom tier and that might be a mistake. I was either gonna put them in the top two tiers because I believe I have 10 plants total or I was gonna put them in the bottom so that that way when they run, they wouldn't run all over the other plants. But do I really want them higher so that they can run down? So I may change my mind as I start this project um, but right now, I think Tim and I decided that they would work better at the bottom. That way they can kind of run off underneath, down along the back of the deck. And then I'm sure the chickens will probably take, you know, whatever runs down as a snack, which may be a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. This is actually my first time really growing strawberry plants. And because these were already started, they were actually gifted to us. My dad brought them to me last week. They were actually gifted to him by a member of his congregation. So we're going to give them a try. He said that he planted several plants a few years ago and he has, I think a hundred at least strawberry plants. So he had some he needed to share. So it sounds like they're off to a good start. Hopefully transplanting them here into our containers will not stunt their growth in any way, but it's definitely gonna be an experiment um, for me because it's something that I have never done. So we're gonna try that out and I want to start some seeds in the green stock. I don't know if I'll get to that today because I have some other projects that I need to get done before this rain sets in. So I wanted to show these to you before we get started. I think they look so good and I've got several clumps here, but see, can you see the little strawberry bloom here even? So a lot of them are already starting to produce, which is super exciting. I do see that I've got 
some that are broken um, and then having them out here in the wind is probably not a good idea but you know once we clean them up I don't know if we'll be able to split them because let me show you they're kind of in clumps and so I thought maybe that looks like two strawberry plants there so I'm gonna be really careful we may be able to separate them a little bit um, I'm gonna kind of see as I go if we end up with too many though we might take up too much of our green stock space. So, um, like I said, I'll see as we go along just because I've never done this before and um, I wanna make sure that I don't kill everything. But just in the couple of days that they've been, I kept them down the basement. I put like a moist towel uh, woven in here just to keep their roots wet. But I've noticed like there's new growth on here just since bringing them downstairs over the weekend. So really excited to see what these do. And like I said, free to me, so no loss either way, but I think we're gonna have a pretty good harvest. I'm gonna be confident in that. All right, guys, so look what we ended up with. I haven't counted them yet. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, I think is what I've counted. So. That would be three tiers of strawberry plants. We may put some in pots and just have different methods of growing them and just see what works best. Sounds like a good idea to me. All right, I did change my mind. I told you I probably would. I think they're going to go in the top tiers. I was just playing with how I could spin this thing around. So I'm glad that I opted for the Lazy Susan base. So if you get one of these, the Lazy Susan base, is a good idea. A lot of people discouraged it when I looked it up online, but I'm enjoying it already. Look how easy that'll make things. Okay, so we're going to just, I'm just gonna stick my hand in here and kind of open up the soil a little bit, and we'll just start popping these little strawberry plants right in. <music> So I'm finished. I got, let's see, I did decide that there are six, <laughs> there's six pockets on each tier and five tiers. So that's 30 in all. And that means that we have 12 strawberry plants because we use up the first two tiers. I was thinking 10, but there are six pockets on each one instead of five. So I've got four left over that I am going to put in containers or maybe like little starter pots and just see what they do. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add our water to the top. And so the way this works, let me see if I can get you closer. So the way this works is we'll put our water in here. I think there's a fill line, let's see, water only. I don't know if it has a fill line or not, but we'll fill the water up in the basin and then that water will seep down into the holes. It will go down into the rest of the tiers and it will create a watering system and then we'll need to keep this full every time that we see that it's empty we'll need to fill it back up and then what i'll probably do is go in and hand water 
these since we just planted them until they really start to grow. I'll do the same thing with seeds as I add seeds. So I'm not gonna add the seeds today. I think I'm gonna stop the video here. But as I add seeds and plants to it, I'll show you that throughout other videos and you'll get an idea of how we're gonna use the system this year. Rather noisy out here today. <laughs> Here's another look at everything. Up close look there. I'm just super happy with the way this is turning out so far. And I think what I'll do, look at the little bloom there. Is that not the sweetest? What I think I'll do is put some sort of uh, marking on these so that I can remember to turn them. I don't know if I'll do that every day or every other day so that they're getting all points of light here on the deck, which this area gets full sun. But because there's a backside to this, you know, some of this will get more sun than the rest. And so turning this um, will help that tremendously. That's why I'm glad it's on this lazy Susan base. And I've got quite a bit of mess to clean up. All right, so there's a look at our start. All right, friends, well, I'm going to leave you here for today. It is starting to rain, so I'm going to head inside. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're interested in your own green stalk, I'll leave a link to this one in the description box below. You can go check those out and see if that's something that you would like to add to your garden space. Doesn't take up a lot of room. I would say it's perfect if you don't have a lot of space or even if you just want to try something different this year. All right, so until next time, remember to live simply, use what you have, enjoy the moments you've been given, and I will see you all in the next one. <music>